Mahalia. So stupid last <laughs> Hey, welcome to the show. Thank welcome. welcome. Mahalia. Thank you, thank you. Do people usually have fun with your name? That way, yeah. We had a lot of fun. <laughs> think, yeah, yeah, yeah. By the they way, my do. name is Jay Cruz. That's DJ Leslie, and that is Lechetto. Lechetto. Good to Amazing. be with you here. Good to be with you guys. Welcome home. This is Real 92.3. Love it. Yeah. This room is good. iHeart. iHeart Radio, which is um, um, a big radio company, and you should be- the biggest uh, market. You should, you, should mm -hmm. uh, you should be cool. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. iHeart can do things. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? <laughs> no, what's going on, man? How are you? I'm good. I'm doing good. I'm a little bit sick today. It's oh, that no. kind of new year. Yeah, it's yeah. that new year thing. Girl, man. I was sick for what? A month? I'm still a little- I still have a little cough. Really? Yeah. I've been sick what, for over the month. holidays? For the holidays, me, yeah, my, son, my son, my wife, yeah. all coughing Mom, all over each other. That time of year, that, it's, 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 it's literally because we work all year, yep. and mm -hmm. then your body just, just shuts down. Thank you, shuts thank, down. thank you, thank you. Exactly. You grind, are you into like, yo, I have to work, or right. else I feel like I, I'm a loser? Yes. Same. I think we're all, yes. we all yes. I counted way. my days last year. I'm a bit of a geek at the end of the year. I like to mm. count like how many flights I've been on, where I've been, what I've been doing. There you go. And I counted 254 days of last year I was on tour. Oh my God. I was wow. on the road away from home. That's what it takes though, right? I yeah. mean, it takes that and then some? Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. And then some, and then some, and then some. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you know, when I see people get quote unquote um, overnight success, that's fine. You know what I mean? But some overnight success looks that way, but there's years and years and years yeah. of work. What's that saying? It takes it takes 10 years to make an overnight success. Mm -hmm. no, it's Talk to me. And you got to put in the 10,000 hours. You have to. 10,000 hours is what it's about. What's up, Ben? I see you. <laughs> what up, Ben? Yo, question. You know you're talking about breaking down. What What do you do for, for the recovery process? Wait, work? love and compromise is everywhere, by yes. the way, okay? You, uh, gotta, you gotta vibe with it. Uh, with hey. Yeah. So, Bye. yeah, we're talking about the breakdown. You know what I'm saying? Your body shuts down. It's, it gives up a little bit towards the end of the year. What do you do for the recovery? You know, do you just take a vacay? Do you just... Not do shit. Like, yeah, yeah. Do you know Go what? Do you grid, reset? Right? Yeah, it depends. This Let your year, phone die. yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this time, this time around, I, I, I took a vacay. So I went away for two weeks. Which for you? I went That's to Ibiza. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I went to Ibiza, and Ibiza is really interesting because obviously it's known in the summer for being a proper party yes. island. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But in the winter, it's incredible. It's silent. Like oh, everything's nice. shut down. Barely any restaurants are open. There's nowhere to go really. Um. So I went there and just sat. In a in a in a house for two weeks. Did you write anything, Amazing. or you was just? I didn't write at all. Just... See, that is like that's the thing that I do on purpose, where I literally make myself stop. Um, yeah. Because you healthy. can get inspired by a, a beautiful sunset, and you yeah, get... no, I made mm -hmm. sure. Good, good. That's yeah. healthy though, right? Just yeah. to cut it off for a yeah. while. Yeah. Nothing wrong to. with that. That doesn't mean you're not working hard. No. Or... You know, or you're giving up or anything yeah. like that. So you get to sit there, right? You're relaxing. Do you get to eat whatever you want? Exactly. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. I mean, I do that all the time anyway. Really? Yeah, Good I'm one of those you. girls. I can't really. I tried. I've tried many times to do the discipline thing, and I'm just not on it. How's that uh, working out for you, you Leslie? Because I'm super strict with my eating habits. Like, really? oh my gosh. That's why she's single. That might be why you I'm single. No. With that. You've heard That's not. With that. Don't do that. <laughs> no, I was playing. I was playing. See, we get along. We have a no. very special relationship. No, Me, yeah. I don't think that's why she's single, but they do have a weird relationship. Uh -huh. it's, yeah. she's, she's weirdly attracted to him, but she's a lesbian. But the thing is, is that he looks like a lesbian, I guess, like a butch lesbian, so it, it makes sense. Yeah. It, it's complicated. It's complicated. And she I get it. I get it. I get it. But we're friends. We're friends. Yeah. 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 Sometimes Love and compromise like is everywhere. But yeah, love and compromise. Have you compromised in a relationship? Is yeah, it healthy? Of course. Is of course. it yeah? Do you know, I think it was interesting because because when I first started writing the album, I was in a whole different headspace, just kind of in my in my love life and in my relationship. Sure. Mm -hmm. And I think I used to really see compromise as a negative thing. Like for so long, I was yeah. like, but compromising means mm -hmm. that I'm changing myself. I still that see it in uh, in that way a little bit. I'm Same, trying, a but, tiny yeah, bit. A tiny... I, but it also depends on the person on the other side. Right. So it depends on the yeah. person that you're compromising for. So I think. It's like, for me, it was a real journey because in the 18 months that I was writing the album and, and, and creating and kind of, you know, I was I was going through some stuff in my personal life and just working some stuff out, I realised actually compromising we do every day without yes. even realising, and it's a positive thing. To me, compromising, I realise now, is just about showing respect. Mm -hmm. You know, it's about true, it's about true. showing respect and, 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 and expecting that back. So, yeah. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know it's tough though, and I and I think it's different for men. I think it's different for it men. Is, for I mean, sure. we're all human beings, and we all feel stuff. But yeah, for men, it's tough, and I think maybe uh, culture-wise as well, it's a little different. Yes, you know, Mexican, so we have that that weird machismo, mm. maybe the stubbornness, maybe. Yeah, you know. Yeah, they're similar in in, in um, Caribbean culture too. 
Is that right? Yeah. Can can, can you compromise even though your horoscopes maybe aren't compatible? Or is it worth <laughs> compromising? Is, is I, that, I, is that, that, I'm asking because Leslie is uh, very okay. heavy in horoscopes. No, I'm. No, I see friends horoscopes too. Okay, but I don't, oh, I don't. I don't like if I meet someone and we're not compatible in astrology. I'm not like okay, you gotta go. No, yeah. no, no, no. I just like to read mine for the yeah, most yeah, part, and I like right. to learn other people and and put pieces together and. I stuff believe like in that. it, and then I believe also that it's like. Bullshit. So I don't know. Uh -huh. I'm in the middle, guys. Yeah, uh -huh. me too. I'm in the middle. Do you know what it is about astrology and star signs go. and moon and rising and all of that stuff? Earth. I think it gives people something to Retro believe wind. in. Retro and wind. it gives people, like, it's like, like. Believe in God and let's move on, no? <laughs> I but, 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 but you can believe in both, of <laughs> yeah, course. Yeah, I believe yeah, in yeah. the universe. Can you? I mean, I don't of know. Yeah, but that's, like, but that's all part of it. And it's actually, I I was always just kind of into the, like, just like into astrology. And like, sure. like, like kind of in the past six months have like read so much more about it. And actually, mm -hmm. it's really interesting. It makes sense, right? It makes a lot yeah. of sense. My mum is hilarious. Yeah. My mum. It makes sense if you if you allow it to make sense, I believe. Yeah, but I think that's, I think it's a nice thing to believe in. It's not, sure, a, sure. not a negative thing to be believing in, you know? I guess not. Yeah, I guess you're right. <laughs> Thank well, you. you. My mum, if place. I meet a guy, but <laughs> my mum says two things whenever I bring home a guy. And the first thing is, what's his star sign? Oh, wow. And second thing is, is his dad bald? Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> That's that a really what? good question. Is, is his dad bald? Is his dad bald? Yeah. That's my mum. Why? <laughs> because that means bro, that he's, he has genetics, like, his, my yeah, genetics. Genetics, yeah. Genetics, yeah. Whoa. I didn't. Really? So, yeah, that's something so like, really yo, smart to think about. Yeah, yeah find wow. Find out if his dad, what, you know, where his dad's hairline is. Uh -huh. And, and at what age he lost yeah, it. Yeah, because you're going to get married to that. Uh -huh. Or you're going to be and that's with gonna be you. Exactly. So exactly. the hairline got to be right in order mm -hmm. for you to check in? Yeah. That's foul, dog. That's foul. Right. So listen, LeBron James has the question? Uh -huh. No, listen, as someone with a seriously fucked up hairline, I feel attacked. Show her. Show her. I've done it. This is no. Show her. Show it. Because it's not bad. I told you it's not bad. I this week. In the interview. It's not even fucked up. Come on. No, show it. It's not fucked well, up. Well, I haven't shaved it in, a, in like a week and a half. Just don't be scared. But listen, <laughs> judging it's off okay. what you just said, you and I don't have a shot. <laughs> That's all right. Listen, it's not it terrible. Hey, look, can I tell you something? You own it, though, you know? No, wait, you rock it, people. You I rock own it. it. I wear a hat. It, it's okay to wear hats. Not during but... sex. Are you kidding me? No, you don't, Cruz. I'm out of this fucking interview. <laughs> Fuck all y'all, man. I'm out. Thanks for stopping by. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So, oh. yeah, a guy with a hairline like mine, no way, right? No way. But be honest. That's be where honest. compromise comes in because exactly. if, if it's someone that you really what love. What if I make you laugh? What exactly. If I, what if I feed you mm -hmm. good exactly. food and, and you, make I you laugh? I didn't say that I thought it. I said that my mom asked me that question. Yeah, but you are your mom, okay? So. I, yeah, 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 that's true. So, let, wait a minute. You know? <laughs> so, wait a minute. <laughs> so, she said, uh, sun sign. Yes. And uh, what is that exactly? Sun sign so is. Your sun sign is um, so like your main astrology sign. So like if I said to you, I'm a Taurus. Mm, okay. That's my sun sign. Got my it. moon sign. I'm a Cancer. I'm an Aries. Nice. Aries are cool. I'm a Libra. We whack. <laughs> Wait, what she are you? Said, are you a Taurus? I'm a Taurus. Are you? Yeah. yeah, yeah. When's your birthday? They got so okay, cold. 27 April. Nice. <laughs> All her exes are Libras. That's why. Are they? <laughs> no, they're not. Um, Virgos. Virgos scare me. Ooh. Ooh. My girl is a Virgo. Yeah, but see, like, yeah, <laughs> it's but, different. Yeah, but it depends. On, it, and, and it depends on her moon and rising. It's a lot. It's a lot of Depends things. on what, uh, what time you were born of the day, uh -huh. too, oh all that God, shit. And city no. and all that, right? That's yeah. what I heard. I don't follow up. <laughs> what you did feature in LMA. Yes. Um, was that, um, you was that a things. true collab, or was it just through emails? Or no, were we vibing? It was, um, so I met Ella, I met Ella, like, two years ago yeah. at a show. I haven't um, met her yet. I don't know why we haven't. Oh, really? Wait, did we I? Have a, I don't think I have. I, think we have. I met her. She was she's sweet. She's great, yeah. man. She's like... Shout the mustard, though. My G, my G. Come through. <laughs> so we met We met two years ago at my show in LA. Um, and then I went on tour with her last year. And then yeah, 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 yeah. the album was done. So what you did was done, and it was just me on my own. And then she literally hit me up and said, is your album finished? And I was like, yeah, why? And then she said, I want to be a part of it. Beautiful. So, yes, it was over text, but it was like, it was very, very, very organic. Like, very nobody else was involved. And personal. Awesome. She Personally, hit you. Yeah, like she that. hit me. That's so, dope. what does that, how does that make you feel? Is that a boost for your ego? Or are you just like, wow? Um, or excited about it? I right? think it was just exciting. Sure. Like, I was, like, I, I called everybody. Like, I called my manager, I called my, my, my label, and was just basically like, can I do this? Because I know that time at the time, the time was short. Like, I had like two days oh, wow. before oh, it had yeah, to be so delivered. You, you wow. got to get it done. Yeah. 
So it was. Um, Did you guys record it together? No. So okay. she was. I was. So I was on tour. I was literally sat on a tour bus in Europe, um, and she was in America, and we were trying to sort it out with the time zone difference. So it was yeah. Wow. Oh was god! And then you have like limited time to get it done. Exactly. Jesus, can you do an American accent? Uh, just try. I don't think so. Try. You won't offend us. Trust me. Tell me what to say. We're barely American. <laughs> yeah, we, we're barely here, bro. Yes. We're barely, we're, 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 they don't want us here, bro. I don't know if I We're can. happy to be here. I kind of, I don't know. I don't even know. No. We're like, all fools. Just say like, yo, let's go get some tacos, but try to sound like an American. I w- it's tough, I know, right? To get rid of something that you've had your entire life. Different sentence, different sentence, different sentence. Give me a different one. What up, fool? No. What up, fool? There it is. <laughs> That's me. What would an American an, woman An American woman say, do you want to go to Runyon today? Runyon? Yeah. Uh-huh. Do you want to go to, oh, God. You go. got it, you got it. Do you want to go to Runyon today? What? <laughs> now, in the UK, do you guys see us as the accent? Do we see what? Us as the ones having an accent. You know, we say, you got an accent. Do you guys see, see us and be like, yo, you guys got the accent. You feel yeah, me? yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and the it, no, it's when you guys do British accents that just oh, kills us all. I know. No, it's seriously, so, say it, say it. It's, it's okay. So bad. Speak it's, on it. It's really <laughs> bad. Is it offensive? No, no, no. But it's bad. Right. Like it's just like I, I, I'm hello yet there, to hear. Right? Like hello, that cheerio. Like come on, bro. Yeah, like <laughs> I, I have never said, I have never said cheerio in my fucking life. I just said it for the first time. I eat there. Cheerios, but I've never said cheerio, bro. <laughs> <laughs> hello, governor. I've that... never said that in my no. life. <laughs> hello, governor. Literally. Yeah. Literally. Yeah, literally. Yeah, 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 yeah. I sound stupid, don't I? <laughs> and what is that? What is the up thing? I sound stupid, don't I? I know, that... that's what we think you sound like, but we're dead ass wrong. Do you think stupid. that we all sound the same? <laughs> no. Uh, I, I don't know. Is that racist? <laughs> I don't think it's racist. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, that's. So I feel, like, I feel like you guys are always doing like a kind of southern. It's a cartoony almost. Yeah, it's like a London thing. So you get like London, yes. like 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 hello mate, how are you? Hello. And then mate. you've got my accent, which is Leicester, which is very different. Yes. Right? Yes, yes, so yes, yes, yes. so so if I'm gonna say to you, shut the fuck up, oh. that's that's London that, that's London. But me, I would what say I do sh- to you? No, stop. But no. I would say but I would say shut the fuck up. Shut the Hear fuck the difference. Up. Shut the fuck up. And then when you go up north, it sounds more like this and it's very like it's yeah, very yeah, deep. Yeah. And it's very... like Latinos, right? Like Mexicans have a certain accent, Dominicans, Puerto Ricans, Salvadorians, we yeah, all we have different accents. All slightly different. It's different, yeah. But you guys just think that we sound the same. <laughs> I know. We, butcher, so we butcher the UK accents. Yep. Yes, we do. Butcher it. Yeah. Like, literally. Fucking. Ba, ba, ba. And then Peter would hate us. But, yo. yo, then there's some cats that you don't like that you see, right? And you're like, I didn't know they had an accent like that. Like, Idris Elba. Like, I didn't. When I first heard his accent, I was like, yo, yeah. you not from here, my yeah. G? Do you know who's cre- the who's the guy in um in The Walking Dead? Oh, um. Ah. I know his name's Rick in the, in, in the, in the show. Have I you know seen The Walking Dead? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Have you heard his accent? He has an accent? He's so British. Oh, shit. So, so British. <laughs> yeah, and like, see? yeah. Yeah, it's mad. Love and compromise, which is um, tough, I think. That's it's tough. tough. Yeah, loving someone, I believe, can be tough. And mm-hmm. uh, compromising can be tough. And you put those together. It's almost a recipe for disaster. But if you're built for it, then it can work, right? Yeah. What's the longest relationship you've been in? Um, Probably my last one, which was, uh, I just ended. It was a year and a half. Mm-hmm. A year and a half. Oh, that's yeah. not long at all. I've been with my... Fiance for f- 16 years. Wow. Engaged for like Congratulations. six. Congratulations. <laughs> for the past six years. <laughs> engaged for like six years. I'm a piece of shit, man. <laughs> I got to get that together. Yeah, I, I would know. kick you. Really? Yeah. It's a little disrespectful, it's, I know. It's a little disrespectful. But it, so here's my thing then, right? Let's let, So let's love and compromise. Okay. I have to set the date? Do I have to go in the house and, and say, my love, we're getting married on this day? And doesn't that not that a little barbaric? Aren't we supposed to do it together? Did you ask her to marry you? I did. Right. I mean, I'm going to re-ask her because it's been such a long time. Well, yeah. <laughs> um, I don't think you have to set the date, but... let just says I have I to re-ask. <laughs> yeah, I think you, you should, got to. I think you should re-ask. Just... I think re-ask and then get the ball rolling. Ah. Yeah. So here's my question. To make it fresh. Do I need to buy another ring? No, not at all. Or should I take hers and upgrade it? Well, no, because then she's going to know How that you're going to re-ask. Yeah, God. Maybe I'll stage like a robbery or something. Yeah. God, or like, we're getting in way too deep now. Yeah. <laughs> Get the robbery. Did she ever Someone's take it off? Did she, <laughs> did she ever take it off? Uh, no. Oh. No, nah, hell no. Nah. She ain't taking that shit off. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. 
<laughs> he worked for his credit to I'm, get that ring. I'm not that me? guy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but so yeah, I guess I gotta re-ask. But then what do I do when I re-ask? Empty box? This is tough. This is tough. This is tough. Love is tough. Compromising is tough. Yeah. You know? Because yeah, I think man. the compromise is there to get her get her another ring. I don't think you should get out of the ring. No. I don't think you need to do that. I don't, I don't so. know. Why are you asking me? I don't know. I'm don't 21. Know. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling a connection. You're 21. I know, right? You're 12 <laughs> years old. I don't understand what I'm doing here. But um, in a lot of ways, uh, I'm 21 as well. I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know what's happening here. I feel the same way. Right? Well, congratulations. Love Thank and Compromise you. is everywhere. All streaming platforms. What you did is out now featuring yes. Ella May. Let's get into it. Talk to the city.